at 10 a.m. on this Saturday, September the 30th, 2023, on the Parvis of St. Peter's Basilica, Pope Francis celebrated the ordinary public consistory for the creation of 21 new cardinals. Thinking about this celebration, I was reminded of this text from the Acts of the Apostles. It is a fundamental text, the telling of Pentecost, the baptism of the Church, but actually my thoughts were drawn to one particular, to that expression that came out of the mouths of the Jews who dwelt then in Jerusalem. They said, we are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and so on. It is a matter of applying to us, I'll put myself first, the experience of those Jews who by a gift of God found themselves protagonists of the event of Pentecost, that is, of the baptism of the Holy Spirit that gave birth to the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, the Mother Church that speaks in all languages. After the delivery of the Bull of Creation of Cardinals and assignment of the title of Diaconia, the Holy Father exchanged the embrace of peace with each of the new cardinals. Among the cardinals created there was His Beatitude Pier Battista Pizzaballa, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, and His Excellency Claudio Guggerotti, Prefect of the Dicastery for the Oriental Churches. The College of Cardinals has a total of 243 cardinals, including 137 electors. For the first time, a Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem was created a cardinal. Immediately after the consistory, in the Hall of Blessings, the newly created cardinals greeted friends and pilgrims who had come from all over the world to accompany their pastors. On Sundays, the new cardinals met with their in community. In the papal basilica of St. Mary Major, where the relic of the cradle of the infant Jesus is kept, his beatitude cardinal Pizzaballa celebrated the Eucharist with those who came to Rome for him from all parts of the Holy Land, but also from America and Europe. What is typical of a cardinal, the Patriarch asked himself in his homily, to become father of the Church of Rome and therefore of the Universal Church, which means looking at Christ and the world with Peter. But there is a first Peter, prior to the denial, and a second Peter, who is reborn from the gaze charged with Jesus' forgiveness, a leader who does not err who has not experienced forgiveness becomes unmanageable. Jerusalem, said his beatitude, is a city of extraordinary wealth and of many labors, tensions, tears. As the Church of Jerusalem and Rome, we still have this mandate to be those who remind the world to look to Christ together with Peter. At the end of the Mass, the Cardinal was greeted by a warm applause from his confreres, friends and faithful. A very beautiful moment of the Church, of Universal Church, Rome, Jerusalem united, all the realities of Jerusalem present, together with the Church of Rome. It is a moment when we have to reflect a lot with the ministry of Peter, serving Peter by looking at Christ. Il Santo Padre ha avuto l'idea di attirare l'attenzione di nuovo. The Holy Father had the idea to draw attention again not only to the beloved person of Monsignor Pizzaballa, but also to the reality that he manages, a minority church that is in the Holy Land, in the midst of a long conflict which is not finding a solution. He will be the voice of the church, the voice of the people who want peace and justice. It is a great honor for me to be here and for our whole Jerusalem community. Cardinal Pizzaballa is really dear to us. We feel him very close to us. It is an appointment that also has a relevance thinking about the situations that Christians are experiencing, not only in the Holy Land in the strict sense, but also throughout the Middle East. A situation of suffering, of martyrdom that sees a progressive reduction of the Christian presence as well. For us friars of the custody of the Holy Land, it is a reason for joy because Cardinal Pizzaballa is one of our confreres. He has been custos in the Holy Land for 12 years and therefore he will also be able to support and encourage our own presence 
which is a presence of custody of the holy places on the mandate of the Holy See. We naturally wish him from the bottom of our hearts that the red of the purple may then be embodied in the passion and ardent love for the Christians of the Holy Land and the willingness to give his life for the Church of the Holy Land. La vita per la Chiesa di Terra Santa.